Welcome to Handmade Home, I'm Hester. Today I would love to show you how easy it is to make twine out of leftover bits of fabric. To make the twine you need lots of bits of rags of fabric. Anything will do, I use just cottons for mine. And make sure the strips are two centimeters wide. It can be any length you want, as long as it's sort of all the same width. What you do, you start with two strips and you just simply knot them together. Once you've got your fabrics knotted together, what you're gonna do is you're gonna twist the top bit of fabric away from you, give it roughly three to four twists, and bring it forwards over the other one towards you. Then with the other one, you're gonna twist it away from you and bring it forwards over the other one towards you. Now my fingers are a little bit in the way at the moment, but I will show you. So you twist it away from you, forwards over the other one. And again, twist it away from you and bring it forwards over the other one towards you. By twisting this away, but then bringing it forwards, once you let loose of your twine, it actually stays in place. You're going to keep doing this until you reach the end of one of your fabrics. This is a great craft to do on the sofa in front of the TV, because you don't really have to pay that much attention. As long as you remember to twist away and pull it forwards, you're fine. As you can see, I'm running to the end of my blue bit of fabric. And what you do, if you have sort of roughly five centimeters left, you just introduce a new bit of fabric. You're going to fold it in and keep twisting and doing what you were doing. Where your fabrics join is always a slightly weaker point, so make sure your two bits of fabric don't run out at the same time. You can do this of course in just one color fabric, to have a monochrome look, but I really like all the different patterns and colors together. Simply keep twisting until you have the desired length of twine. And when you finish, you end up at something like this. I love all different colors and textures together. And now you can do whatever you want with your twine. You can use it for bracelets or necklaces, you can knit with it or even crochet. It also works great for seatings for a chair or a footstool. I use mine in cotton, but it works really well with silk as well. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel. Hem at Home brings you a new craft tutorial every Thursday.